Hey guys, it's Alicia here. None other, I'm here to talk about WWE, but I'm gonna be talking about Dana Brooks and Tanina Snuka. I want to talk about how they are getting, how they are treated, and I want to get um, the question out there first. And I want to, I want to hear from y'all after I um, do this video because um, something with Tamina, I um, did do a video with, I'm um, talking about her, this situation with her, but I want to talk about it a little more. As y'all know, since the incident, we hardly see a lot of women on, on Raw and SmackDown now. And to me, I just feel like that women's division needs a full-on overhaul. That means we do not need any men to be, you can, you don't, we don't need men making decisions when it comes to that women's title belt we need to see women a woman writers team we need to see women producers look at all these former wwe women that you're not using you 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 have molly holly backstage and molly holly's just sitting by and let the men say oh let's see them do this let's see them do that it's like it's like, to me, it feels like um, Vince McMahon doesn't value that women's title belt, the women's um, division. It's like, it's like he don't devalue, he don't value that women's division. It's like, oh, they secondary. It's like him saying, oh, they secondary to the men's division, to the men, men's top title belt, to the men's tag team title belts. That's how it feels like when it comes to Vince McMahon and the way he does things. Now, I really feel like the way that WWE marketed, market female wrestlers, I'm literally saying it, market female wrestlers and how they portray female wrestlers in the industry is very, we as female fans needs to be concerned about and stuff. The reason I say this is, let's take a look at Tamina Snuka. Tamina Snuka, the daughter of the late, great Jimmy Fly Snuka. He, uh, she only got one title belt opportunity, and that was in 2020, and 2020, where she faced Bailey for that women's title belt. Okay, what's going on since then? She had, she had, did not get a rematch for that match. She's been in tag team after tag team she's in she's been seen more as a joke here lately because of that 24 7 championship including dana Bruce, and i'm going to talk about her in a, in a minute but why what's what does she needs to do to be in that top contention to me i feel like she is a real good and strong female wrestler yes she's associated with one of the biggest families She's associated with Roman Reigns, Jay, and Jimmy Uso, and Naomi, um, former, um, and, and thing. She's associated with them. And I'm gonna, um, um, leave some videos down, down below for you to, um, look at when it comes to Tamina. But you gotta, you have to, you gotta think about it. It's not just all about the quality of wrestling we are getting when it comes to all of these different women. It's like, you got a question. You have to ask yourself, why Vince McMahon is pushing Charlotte Flair all the time? Why he's pushing the narrative of Ronda Rousey all the time? Why he's pushing Becky Lynch all the time? Those are three women we need to be concerned about. And then, you know, um, we got to be concerned. Okay, is he going to do the same thing with Oscar? Those are four women we need to be worried about. I don't have no problem with Oscar. That's just that. I'm just bringing the narrative. And the narrative is, are we going to ever see Tamina in that top contention? She deserves that, that at least that. Because like I told y'all in, in, in another video that I said, she came close of winning Divas title belt, not once, but twice. Um, she, um, in, like I said, in 2020, she went up against Bailey for the women's title belt. What happened with that? And what happened with that rematch clause that they didn't give her? 
So that is that. Okay, now let's get on Dana Brooks. As y'all know, Dana Brooks is the current 24-7 champion. Okay, to me, I feel like that championship is beneath her. I believe she deserves a women's title belt opportunity and to hold that women's title belt opportunity. Because like I have been saying for years, and I've been calling this man out on his crap. He has a certain type. And I want y'all to go, when I say this, go back and look, go back over the years and start with your stratus. Go back and look. Vince McMahon has a certain type of female, literally a certain type of female he likes to push. He likes to push. He likes to push. He like, let me just say he likes to push the certain type and everything. Do we have a, like, now, if you look at, um, we see now, we only have a lot of people. And I really would say when it comes to, like, people coming from other sports to be part of WWE, I do have to question WWE. And the reason you we need to question it, especially when it comes to women, because this goes in size with Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler, Sonya Deville, and Ronda Rousey all come from UFC. But two trained, literally trained for years to be WWE superstars. And that's Sonya Deville and Shayna Baszler. Okay, I give them props. But I don't think when you have somebody who comes from another sport who wants to be part of this um industry, I really feel... A lot of things is handed to him, to me. And um, I want to talk about this at a later date, but I want to ask y'all this. And this is doing with Sasha Banks. Do y'all think Sasha probably walked out because Vince McMahon had promised her a huge title belt match at WrestleMania? But she was pushed to the side for Ronda Rousey. Ask yourself that. Ask yourself that with that question before answering. But it's like, you have to consider that. And I want y'all to consider that. Like I said, this wasn't a long video. I just wanted to get this out. But the other thing is when it comes to that women's division, like I said, I talked to y'all last year about WWE adding women, a women's writers team for that women's division because I really believe women would know what to do. Women of past year, yesteryears, let me just say it, yesteryears, female wrestlers from the WWE probably would know what to do with the current female wrestlers. You got Molly Holly and she's like on the writers team, but she's not doing enough to um, give everybody. Um, opportunities. She's not doing enough. It's like, I know it's only only just one of her, but we want to see more because if y'all remember at one point in time, we had the women's revolution. We had the first women's Hell in the Cell match. We had this. We had that. And we haven't had that in years. Do we ever get that? No. So I really feel like feel like it needs to, we need to see our female wrestlers from yesteryears come into the company and start working with the women's division in general. And the question of the day, do y'all think women of WWE, women wrestlers of WWE's past, do you believe they need to come in and work with the women's division in general? All right, y'all, that's all I have time for. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.